What's up guys, it's Liz and today we're gonna to be doing a seven minute booty builder. So I hope you're ready to work out. Today I'm gonna to be using eight pounds, but you could do anywhere from 10, 15, maybe even 20 pounds. You're doing lower body today, so it's going to be extra intense and bigger muscle groups means we need heavier weight. So find what's right for you and let's get started. So after you've done a quick warm up, go ahead and pick up your weights. We're starting with our first exercise. We're gonna go one minute each exercise, starting with our step squat. So I'm gonna secure my weight, drop my hips down and step side to side. Good, so you'll notice my shoulders are back and down. My chest is lifted, my abs are in. My knees are over my heels. My whole posture is beautiful. I'm not straining my neck. We're gonna be here for one minute. Pull those elbows in, use your core. Good. So all about today, we're doing the booty, which means we wanna really load up that lower body. Time under tension is what we're after here in these step squats. So really focus on squeezing those glutes. Beautiful, almost there. And then we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest and then we'll move on. Keep breathing, drop it a little bit lower if you wanna make it harder. Good, almost there. Beautiful, and time. Take 30 seconds here. Tap your feet. Now you can do this circuit once through. You can repeat it, or you can go, do up to three to five times. That'll give you anywhere from a 20 to 30 minute workout today. Whew, almost there. Good, 10 more seconds. Then we're going into our next exercise, which is the squat pulse. Four, three, two, one. For this one, I'm gonna rack my weights up on my shoulders and drop the hips back. Weights in your heels, little pulses. Good. So one minute here. Keep breathing. Remember, it's all about that time under tension. Really turn the glutes on, squeeze your butt. Good. Breathe through it. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. If I show you from the side, my knees are stacked over my heels behind my toes, okay? So I'm not shifting my weight this way. I'm dropping my hips back and pulsing. Almost there. Keep it up. I'm just using my phone for a timer today, but you feel free to use a stopwatch or just follow along and wait until I tell ya. Wait until I tell ya. Good, after this, we're gonna move down onto the mat for our bridges. Four, three, two, and one. My booty's burning already. Good, so you have 30 seconds rest here, and then we're gonna move our way down onto the mat. So I'm gonna use my transition here as my rest. Good, once you get down there, we will set ourselves up for bridges. Find your puppy. <laughs> so with your bridges, you're gonna take your weight. Put it on your hip crease and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Secure the weights where they are and we'll go for one minute. And the heels are nice and close. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now this is where you can go super heavy. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Neutral neck, eyes on the ceiling. Make sure your hips are in line with your knees. Knees are in line with the hips. Feet are in line with the knees, okay? Shoulders are down away from your ears. And breathe, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale for one minute. Almost there. Drive into your heels. If you wanna make this even harder, lift up your toes. Go ahead and set the weights off to the side and then carefully roll up. We have 30 seconds rest here and then we're gonna move into our next exercise. Next exercise is a donkey kick. So we're gonna get over into a hands and knees position. And once you're ready, we'll just flip on over. Good, if you have wrist issues or anything like that, you can go ahead and use your dumbbells to 
help support your hands here. From here, we're gonna start in the donkey kick. So keep your back toes tucked, and here we go. One minute total push. Really push through the heel. Keep the heel flexed the entire time. Good. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on this side, and then 30 seconds on the other side. Halfway. Squeeze your glutes. And switch, beautiful. Tuck that toe, push through the heel. Good. If you have sensitive knees, you can double up your mat here. It's like you're pushing something away from you. Use your heel. Good. Almost there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and through. Beautiful. Go ahead and rest. You can stretch your glutes a little bit here. You can do a child's pose. You can do puppy pose, keeping the hips up high, pressing your chest down toward the mat. The last exercise we have here, which we'll start in just a second, is the rainbow. So in your rainbow, Peanut's in the back barking, she's getting excited. <laughs> You're gonna come to the top of the mat, extend one foot, keep the other toe tucked, take that foot out to the side. From here, we're gonna draw a big arch behind us, 30 seconds each side. You can flex or point your toe here, up to you, whatever feels better. Keep your hips squared, shoulders squared. Big arches. Good. Almost there. And bring that foot in. We'll switch sides. So take it back first and then out to the side. Good. I got to move over because fireplace is in the way. Up and out. Big circle. I kind of like to play around here with the point and the flex. Really focusing on full range of motion all the way around. Keep breathing and beautiful. Bring that on in. Now, if you're gonna repeat sets, again, I recommend anywhere from three to five, which will give you a 20 to 30 minute workout. Go ahead and pause the video, rewind it, and go through after you take a quick 30 second break here. If you're ready to just call it a day, and say you work that booty, let's go ahead and stretch it out. All right, you made it through the workout. Let's go ahead and do a couple stretches and then you'll be on your way. So proud of you today. So we're gonna start with a figure four stretch. So cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring your heel in and then take your pinkies together and put them behind you like a tail feather. And then pretend I have my hand on the middle of your back and I'm gonna press you forward towards your own legs. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall and breathe. Oh, it's wonderful. You can do a couple ankle circles here if you want. Figure four stretch, one of my absolute favorites. Good. Lean back to come out and we'll switch sides. So I just take my leg out just a little bit, cross the ankle over the knee, and then bring the heel back in, and then lift the chest, press the chest forward. If you did ankle circles, go ahead and do them here too. It's important to take good care of our bodies. Ooh, beautiful. You got me out of breath already. And then breathe. One more big inhale together. And exhale. So good. Bend your elbows to come out. And give yourself a personal high five. You rocked it today. Thanks so much for watching today's video and for sweating it out with me. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment for me below. What else do you want to see in next week's workout video? As always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.